the case, but the justice is on the cutting edge of science. They ruled human genes are products of nature and cannot be patented or controlled by the scientists who discover them. The ruling was a narrow victory for doctors and scientists who were challenging claims by Utah-based Myriad Genetics, which had made a medical breakthrough. It identified and obtained patents on two genes, BRCA1 and BRCA2, that can show a woman is at a higher risk for breast and ovarian cancer. In its ruling, written by Justice Clarence Thomas, the court said mere discovery was not enough to justify a patent. Myria did not create anything, the court said. To be sure, it found an important and useful gene, but separating that gene from its surrounding genetic material is not an act of invention. The patents meant Myriad essentially controlled the genes and the genetic testing. Women wanting to know if they were predisposed to breast or ovarian cancer had to use the company's tests and its lab. Doctors and labs wanting to do their own testing on the cancer genes argued Myriad's monopoly stifled research. Myriad countered that companies should be rewarded for scientific discoveries, which would encourage future innovation. On that point, the justices agreed. The court indicated most of today's genetic research, including in agriculture and genetically modified crops, remains eligible for patent protection so long as there is something new with markedly different characteristics from any found in nature. And that's why the impact of today's ruling could be limited. In a statement, Myriad points out the court upheld other claims. And Scott, it is insisting that the bulk of its research still will qualify for patent protections, including that genetic testing.